The previous video tutorial on uploading plans and supporting documents covered the first two steps on how to submit plans and supporting document files as a review package. Those steps were Step 1, Information, where you enter a description of your review package, and Step 2, File Processing, where your files are validated and begin being processed for plan review. This video will cover the last two steps. Sheet versioning, where you will check that the digital plan room has correctly extracted the sheet number for each sheet in your plan set. And step four, review, which is where you conduct a final review before submitting your review package. However, before covering steps three and four in this video, we need to spend a little more time explaining what happens to the files during the file processing step. After the files are validated during the file processing step, the plan room then uniquely identifies each sheet across all plan files you uploaded in your review package. After each sheet is uniquely identified, they are then consolidated into a single plan set regardless of how many plan files were added to your review package. Once file processing completes, the plan room then tracks and versions each individual sheet across all project review cycles. Let's take a moment to cover how the digital plan room does this by looking at the sample files used in this video. To track each sheet individually, the system identifies each page by sheet number across plan files in the review package. The digital plan room does this by checking multiple areas of the PDF for the sheet number. It first checks the PDF for a table of contents, sheet numbers, and sheet title if available. Including the table of contents with each plan file in your review package is best practice to ensure the sheet numbers are identified accurately and automatically. Note that the best format for the table of contents is as follows. The sheet number, followed by a space, and optionally, the sheet title. If any plan files do not contain a table of contents, the plan room also checks for page labels in the PDF thumbnail view. Evaluating text directly on the sheet, and finally, if the plans have been scanned from paper, uses image recognition technology to attempt to locate the title block on each page and extract the sheet number for each sheet. If the system is not able to automatically capture a sheet number for any given sheet, you will need to correct anything that was not identified correctly during the file processing step. We will cover how to do that in a moment. Let's get back to the plan room to complete the file processing step and move to step three, sheet versioning. After the file processing step completes, click the Continue button to begin the sheet versioning step. During this step, you will review the sheet numbers identified during the file processing step and make any corrections as needed. There are several data points available to you to help you complete this review. You can validate that the total number of sheets shown match the total number of sheets and all the plan files in your review package. You can see a thumbnail at the title block along with the sheet preview of the entire sheet. If you need to take a closer look, you can click on any of the thumbnails to expand them. Finally, you can check the file name for which a given sheet was processed. There are two requirements that must be met during the sheet versioning step before you can proceed to the final step. First, all sheets must have a sheet number, and second, all sheets must have a unique sheet number. Since the files we were using in this tutorial had a table of contents, all unique sheet numbers, and also, in this case, sheet titles were accurately captured. Let's take a look to see how to resolve any errors if something was missed during file processing. This is what you would see if a sheet number was not captured during the file processing step. And this is what you would see if the sheet number was assigned to more than one sheet. If you're working with a particularly large plan set, you can click the Sheet Error Filter button to drill down on only the sheets with errors. If you find a large number of errors, it might be a good idea to make sure you've added a table of contents to each file. If you need to go back and add one, you can always return to step two and upload any new version of the files that contain a table of contents. After correcting any sheet naming errors, click the Continue button to move to Step 4, Review, which is the final step in the plan and supporting documentation submission process.
During step four, you will check your review package for completeness. If you find anything during your check that you need to change, such as the review package description you entered in step one, or if you missed any files that should have been uploaded during step two, you can go back and correct anything by clicking the edit buttons under each section. If everything looks good, click the finish button and your application will be updated to indicate that the plans have been submitted. And thus concludes this training video.